hello, what is the value of x? Given that you have 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x equals 12. And let's have it to be solution. So we have 3 to the power of x in common. We can factor it out to be 3 to the power of x, open parenthesis. This 3 to the power of x divided by this will give us 1. Plus this 3 to the power of x divided by this will give us 1 equals 12. So we have here to be 3 to the power of x multiplied by 1 plus 1 will give us 2 equals 12. So let's divide 2 by this 12. These two, we cancel out these two. So we have 3 to the power of x equals 12 divided by 2. We give us 6. So from here again, we have 3 to the power of x equals, we can have 6 as 3 times 2. But let's put them in parentheses as this. So having known this one, let's introduce log to both sides of this expression. So we are going to have here to be log 3 to the power of x equals log 3 times 2 and parentheses. Then let us note that when we have log p to the power of m, this power m will come down to base to be m multiplied by log p. And when we also have log a times b in parentheses, as we have it here, that equivalent to this equals as when we have log a plus log b. So when we also apply this one here, we are going to have x times log thingy equals log thingy plus log 2. Then let's divide 2 by log thingy in order to get the possible value of x. So from here, when this divide by log 3, So this we divide by this. So we're going to have x to be equals log thingy plus log 2 divided by log 3. So from here, this we divide by this, this we divide by this. So we have x to be equals log 3 divided by this log 3 plus log 2 divided by this log 3 so mind you x will be equals log 3 divided by log 3 we give us 1 then we have here to be log 3 divided by sorry log 2 divided by log 3 so we have log a divided by log b equals as when we have log a and base b so a equals to b equals 3. So when we apply it here, we are going to have x to be equals 1 plus log 2 in base 3. So this is the value of a. Now, let us now check We have 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x equals 12. So when x equals 1 plus log 2 in base 3, let's substitute here if it will give us 12.
1 plus log 2 in base 3 3 to the power of 1 plus log 2 in base 3 plus this again 3 to the power of 1 plus log 2 in base 3 then is it going to give us 12 so when you have a to the power of m plus n equals as a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n. So when you apply it here, we are going to have 3 to the power of 1 multiplied by 3 to the power of log 2 in base 3 plus 3 to the power of 1 multiplied by 3 to the power of log 2 in base 3 then it's going to give us 12 so we have here to be 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of log 2 in base 3 plus 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of log 2 in base 3 is it going to give us 12 so we have 3 here in common so when you factor it out we have 3 this divided by this we are going to leave with this 3 to the power of log 2 in base 3 this divided by this, we are going to have this only. Take it to the power of log 2 in the state. We close it. Then it's going to give us 12. So from here, we also have this in common. We can also factor this out. So here we now be taking multiply by take it to the power of log 2. This divided by this, we have 1. This divided by this, we give us 1. And so going to give us 12. 1 plus 1 will give us 2. So we have here to be 2 times 3 times 3. This 3 again to the power of log 2 in base 3. And so going to give us 12. So 2 times 3 will give us 6. Then multiply by Take it to the power of log 2 in base 3. Then it's going to give us 12. You call anytime when you have. So when we have a to the power of log b in base a, this and this are the same. The output will be cos b. So here will be 6. This and this are, are the same. The output will be 2 which equals 12. So from here, 12 equals 12. Since the left hand side equals to the right hand side, then x equals 1 plus log 2 in base 3. It gives us the value of x. Satisfy the problem given to us. Bye-bye.